Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my kind of everyday makeup. Like I did my autumn look a few videos ago but that was kind of like a special everyday. This is the kind of makeup that I would wear to like work etc. Um, but I'm probably going to wear eyeliner and I don't really wear eyeliner to work. But again I'm sat in my living room because this little monster is here hello everybody so yeah i'm basically just going to talk to you chat with you get ready because it's a get ready with me so let's get into it this is my dad say hi dad hi where am i <laughs> hi oh you're going crazy <laughs> So I always start with the Revolution Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray. Shit, I've got fake towel as well, I hope this doesn't. <laughs> so yeah, I always just start with that and just spray it all over my face because I think it helps like set my makeup, like give it a good base. My skin's actually been pretty good recently, which is very nice, like very nice. I think I'm going to do an updated skincare routine soon because I think what I've been using really works for me, so yeah. I also normally use the Soap and Glory, you won't believe your eyes. Um, it's a brightening, like, ignore my nails by the way, I had to rip them off in the cinema last night. Um, but it has like, there's little balls, and it gets like a little white bit out, can you see? Yeah. So I basically just like, go like that underneath my eye. It just helps like, reduce creasing and make myself look a bit more awake. And I also use the L'Oreal um, Lumi Magique kind of thing to just brighten my face and I just use a tiny bit of that, dab it over my face and yeah, I really, really, really love this. It's quite pricey for like, I don't know, well I think it's pricey for a primer. It's like a drugstore primer, I would say like £8 is good and I think this is around 12 which I mean, there's quite a lot, but literally worth it so much. It just makes your skin look so good. And I'm never into like that dewy kind of look just because I have oily skin. So I just get a bit scared. But um, yeah, I can put like powder on top of this, obviously with my foundation as well. And it just looks really, really good. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this. I actually repurchased my favorite foundation, which is the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible. 24 hour matte foundation. I am just obsessed with this foundation. I wear it like all the time. Even if I'm going out, I will choose it over like my NARS or MAC foundations that I have just because I absolutely love it. And I have fake tan on, so I'm using this shade 13. Um, it's still a bit light, but I don't know. I kind of prefer just bronzing my skin as opposed to, you know, kind of just wearing a darker foundation just because I think it suits me a bit more. At the moment I've really found my love for beauty blenders and yeah I kind of switch it up between brushes and beauty blenders and I've used brushes for like the longest time so now I'm back in the beauty blender game. But yeah this foundation is literally the best. Like I even wore it to prom um, last year and that was like one of my favourite ever makeup times. It was just like the time that my makeup went really really well thank god like out of all the times I could have gone well, it went well that day and that was really good. I remember actually when I was going to prom, I literally had about £20 in my bank because I just bought my dress which was from ASOS, I think it was like £35 or something and um, I kind of fell in love with it and I was really like scared to wear it because I'm very much like I don't wear pale colours and that was a pale dress, I'll insert some photos if you haven't seen. I had like £50 all together. Then I bought my dress and I had to buy some like jewellery so I just bought this necklace from eBay for like £2 and it looked really nice and then yeah I just kind of wore, I wore my prom shoes from the year before um, which were like these sandals because I'm not, I'm tall enough like I don't need to wear heels. It just shows though because you can go to prom on a budget because I think I looked way better than the year before and the year before I literally spent like, I think my dress was like a hundred maybe a bit more. I don't know why I'm talking about this, it's not even prom season, but yeah. Anyway, next I'm gonna prime my eyelids and I've just got the Urban Decay primer in Eden and I just warm it up a bit and dab it on my eyes. So I'm gonna go onto my eyes and I just use the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, Chocolate Bar Palette. Use the shade Hazelnut and Marzipan and these are basically the two shades that I only use. Sometimes I'll go in with a bit of milk chocolate, but that's 
like rare and I put hazelnut, um, is it hazelnut? No, sorry, salted caramel on the outer third and into my crease and I just do it really fast, like literally don't give a shit. Oh my god, by the way, I just want to say the biggest thank you to you ever. This morning I woke up and I'd hit 9,000 subscribers. 9,000! What the fuck? Like, 10k is probably my ultimate ever, ever goal and I'm only like a thousand away. What the hell? That is crazy. I'm literally so shocked. I just want to say thank you so much to anyone who subscribed recently, anyone who's been there since I had 10 subscribers, like thank you so much. It actually means like so much to me so I'm just so incredibly grateful for all of you. So yeah, thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, if you want me to, I want to do a giveaway, like a good, good, good giveaway. So if you'd like that, like, let me know because I would definitely love to do that too. Um, and let me know any stuff that you'd want. Like, I kind of want to give it a theme, but I don't really know what that theme would be. Obviously, I know I'm not up there with the big YouTubers who can give away iPads and MacBooks. It wouldn't be to that extent, but I'd want to to be really, really meaningful and like cater to what our channel and our family is all about. So now I'm just gonna shove a bit of eyeliner on, if I can find it. I'm gonna just get onto my eyebrows. I can't find my Anastasia dip brow so you know just gonna make do I can't be asked to go back upstairs and try and find it <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna use my sleep brow kit my old school fave so I want to really really thank you for anyone who gave my mental health story time a thumbs up on YouTube there's a thing called monetize monet I can't even speak monetization which is where your videos are like able to have adverts on. Obviously I am not like big enough to like be able to have YouTube as a job etc. Either way having videos that are monetized is very important. Anyway so my videos tend to not get monetized if they're about mental health just because of the topic and it's something that's hard because even though I don't like I said have YouTube as my actual job um, it still is important to me that people view my videos in like a good way. My dog is literally eating my makeup brush. When my video, because it's got like quite a lot of views now, which is really, really, really good. When my video got to 10,000 views, it actually got reviewed. Anyway, so as it got to 10,000 views, it actually got reviewed manually by someone who works at YouTube. Obviously, I don't know that bit. And it was able to be monetized. One of the massive components to that is the fact that a lot of people had like liked it, it got a lot of support, and that is so important to me. So I've just realized I haven't actually done mascara. So since Albie wants to be center of attention so much, I thought I would talk to you a bit about him because I have had a lot of questions about like, just about him. So he is, how old is he? Like, he was born on the 14th of September. Um, that makes him like, what, nearly 10 weeks? Um, he is a Cavapoo. So he's a cross between a Cavalier, King Charles, and a Poodle. And he is an apricot colour. He's also fucking very naughty. <laughs> no, I'm joking. He's actually very well behaved. He just chews on everything, which is very normal for like puppies. So, you know, not that problematic it's just something that we have to like monitor what he's chewing and he's currently chewing one of my mom's pop socks so she's gonna flip shit if she finds that I let him <laughs> my dad took him to the vets yesterday whilst I was at work and um, he's doing really well although he's actually got a cold so my sister right when we got him and he kept like coughing and it sounded like he was coughing but my sister searched it and she was like no no it's called inverted sneezing like he's not old enough to sneeze it's inverted sneezing it's normal in cavapoos so we were like yeah it's cool doesn't matter then we took him to the vet and she was like no he's got a cold so now he's on antibiotics so he has got a cold he's um so we can't actually take him for proper walks yet just because he hasn't had his third jab um he's had two and he's been microchipped, um, but he hasn't had his third one. 
And yeah, he has just been a little terror, but he literally lights up my life. I adore him. And yeah, that's kind of all to say about him, really. Uh, I still have to get up in the morning with him. We have a cage in the kitchen. It's like, it's not a cage, it's like a pen with a bed in. And I will actually insert a clip, right? Every night, we would put him in his pen, and in the morning, he would be out of his pen and the door would be open and I'd be like, how the fuck is he doing this? Because he's only a puppy, how was he doing this? So I filmed him one time when I went in the shower and this is what happened. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, yeah, he's good at climbing, so we've had to put like a top layer of the pen down which is quite funny. Right, so now I'm gonna set my face again. Oh my god my dog has literally bit all of my lid. Um, so I just set it again. Oh for fuck's sake it's literally coming out of everywhere now because he's <laughs> chewed it. Um, so yeah I normally set my face before I put on powder. I don't know really know why but yeah. I just do and I think it works. So in other news as well, I got a new job, which is great. So um, it's not a new job, it's kind of like a new position at the place I work. Should be a bit more money and I'm really shocked that I got it to be honest because I, it was like the last day of applying and I was talking to the people who already work in that department kind of thing and they were like, oh, just apply, like don't worry, just apply. And I was like, okay. So a bit of peer pressure and I applied and then, um, I'm not getting the phone. Okay, um, I applied at work, then I got an interview, um, and I was like, okay, I'll just go to the interview, literally, whatever. Um, went to the interview, and I was awful. Like, and they were asking me loads of questions, which I should have known about the place that, the department that I was gonna work on, about like all the benefits and that. Didn't know shit, did I? Literally, didn't know anything. <laughs> so they were asking me, and I was, in two minds, I was like, do I try and like make up some bullshit or do I just say to them like, I don't know. So I said to them, I don't know. Um, like, I'm really sorry, I actually don't know. Um, and then I came out and I was like, well that's great, I've just fucked that up. And um, I got it, which was absolutely crazy. So that's really good because it should be a bit more money. The hours are so much better for me, which means that I won't be doing a bloody nine hour Saturday shift anymore. So I did my last one yesterday, thank the Lord. But yeah, so I just applied a bit of Nars Laguna, Laguna, and then I'm just gonna get this big old bronzer from Primark and just uh, bronze up my face a bit. This is literally the best bronzer ever, I love it. It's massive, I don't know if they do it anymore, but it has like shimmery bits in it and for bronzing, it's literally perfect. I think it's called a body bronzer, so it's also really good to put on your body. Who knew? So anyway, in the morning when I do this makeup, it literally doesn't take me that long at all. Um, probably takes me about 15 minutes. And this is what I do like most days because I don't do um, eyeliner and yeah, I just kind of like, I don't know, just like shove it on really. But to finalize it before I do my lips, I'm just gonna apply some highlighter. This highlighter isn't the highlighter that I normally use, not gonna lie. Um, this is the Golden Lights one from Revolution and I find this one's just a bit too much for like work or whatever. Um, so I normally go in with like a softer kind of drugstore, um, a softer one, um, but you know, when it's the weekend, I'm gonna go all out. <laughs> I'm literally not even doing anything today. I'm going to visit my friend who's in hospital. Um, she's in the PQ. Uh, which is where I was um, so I'm just gonna go and like see her and see if she's okay because um, obviously it's a really tough time so Pip and I are gonna go and visit her finally just gonna apply some lipstick I just have this random one here which is from Bourjois in the shade 04 and just gonna bang that on basically I kind of just switch up lipstick to be honest depending on the day it's actually a really nice colour, I forgot about it. So that is all my makeup done. I hope you enjoyed. This is kind of what I wear every day, just without the eyeliner and with a subtler highlight. And yeah, that is basically this video done. So I really
really, really hope you enjoyed. This was just kind of a bit of an update, get ready with me again. I just want to say the biggest thank you for 9,000 subscribers. Like, 9,000 people? What? 9,000? I can't. I just... I can't. And I shall see you very soon with a new mental health video. And yeah, basically until then, I just want to say thank you so much for all of your continued support. I love you. I love how our family is growing. Like literally, this is our family. This is our channel. And yeah, I just adore you all. Like literally, I adore you all. Um, so if you want, leave your apps down below, like your Instagram or Twitter apps. And then I can follow you back and we can like chat and like interact and like just be best friends basically because we're already friends but we can become best friends. <laughs> I shall see you very soon. Bye!